Uh, happy River to Glenn Green on 16th. Oh, Glenn Green. Yep, are you guys, I'm assuming you're going to come across our ball? Yeah, Ryder. Uh, just kind of holding up here, but uh, I'll kick her up a little bit and get past you. Yeah, if you could, uh, you go ahead. Uh, we're waiting for a, the linesman app, so uh, you, you've got a few minutes, but uh, yeah, get across so I can shoot out. Roger that, Cap. I'll pick it up. I'll be by you there in a couple minutes. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, you guys have a good day. Give ourselves a Niagara. Happy River. Yeah, we just left the Hallett 5, so we'll be close to your position when you'll be about to leave. Yeah, as soon as we're going to be letting go of lines here in about, uh, hopefully about three minutes. Okay, then we won't be there yet. Okay, sounds good. CSL Niagara to Glenn Green on 16. Glenn Green, CSL Niagara. Yeah, Camp, uh, I know you're outbound there. I'm coming in with a partial load. Uh, I'll stay out of your way. I'll, I'll see you there on the uh, one whistle as you come uh, through to Blatnik. All right, you're on one whistle. Thank you, Cap. Have a good day. Uh, Glenn Green. Excuse me. Happy River has now departed uh, for turn number one. We'll be outbound for late. Uh, Happy River calling to Luther Air Bridge on 16th. Hello, this is the aerial lift bridge, Chow Chow. Chow Chow. Bridge on 10. Hi, uh, happy we're on 10. Uh, we're just getting ready to come outside of the slip. Uh, Port Terminal 1 uh, heading your way. That sounds good, Cap. I'll keep an eye out for you. Thank you for the call. All right, thank you much. Bridge clear. And just one more vessel update here for you folks. Uh, it sounds like the bridge is planning on staying up for both the uh, CSL Niagara and the Happy River. If that ends up happening uh, in the business, we call that a twofer. And be glad that you are here and not in traffic. Once again, we should have uh, yeah two ships coming through here uh, in the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Happy River and CSL Niagara. And good afternoon, visitors. Uh, the Lake Superior Maritime Visitor Center will be closing for the day in 15 minutes at 4.30. If you didn't get a chance to see everything, we'll be opening it tomorrow at 10 a.m. Once again, we're closing in 15 minutes at 4.30. Good evening, visitors. The Lake Superior Maritime Visitor Center will be closing for the day in 10 minutes at 4.30. If you didn't get a chance to see everything, we'll be opening it tomorrow morning at 10. But we'll be closing for the day in 10 minutes at 430. <laughs>
She's departing empty today. Next place she's going is Cleveland. If you see any crew members on deck, give them a big old wave here and uh, wish them a safe voyage across the big lake. And stick around for another vessel. Uh, the CSL Niagara will be uh, following the Happy River out pretty shortly here. Once again, CSL Niagara coming out next after the Happy River. Departing through the Duluth Ship Canal is the CSL Niagara. The Niagara was built as the J.W. McGiffin in 1972 by the Collingwood Shipyards of Collingwood, Ontario, Canada. She measures 740 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 48 feet in depth. She is powered by two 10-cylinder, 4,500 horsepower Mack diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots, or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Niagara has 22 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 54 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 37,700 tons. Above her deck is a 257-foot self-unloading boom, which allows you to unload her own cargo at a rate of 5,400 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The CSL Niagara is owned and operated by Canada Steamship Lines of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. The Niagara is departing with a load of blast furnace trim. If you see any crew on board, be sure to give them a big wave and wish them a safe voyage. The Niagara was named in honor of Niagara Falls, and she was built for $13 million. The Niagara was an active participant in the CSL ship-to-ship -ship coal loading program in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, where CSL vessels would load giant ocean bulk carriers and overseas destinations. Once again, this was the CSL Niagara. Built in 1972, she measures 740 feet in length. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 37,700 tons. <laughs> <laughs> 